And so we have to take this time to be still and to meditate. And, and don't give me that excuse, well, oh, I don't have time. You know, that would almost be like saying, oh, you, please excuse my bad breath because I didn't have time to brush my teeth. Or please excuse, excuse my body odor because I haven't had time to bathe in three days. You make the time to do those things. Why not make the time for your spiritual growth, for your spiritual health, and do the meditation? And once you start doing it, once you get in a custom of doing it, you're not going to want to miss it because it's going to be that link, that communication that you need with your God to get the answers that you're looking for or the solutions or the peace. And sometimes it may just be a simple thing as just being still. In Old Testament it says, be still and know that I am God. We don't know how to be still today because of this rat race world that we're in. So we have to make the time, take the time, and to meditate. And when you do this in your home, whether you're going to get a tape or a CD, or whether you're going to learn to do this, some of this yourself, you create a certain area in your home for your meditation. Whether you want to put a candle or a certain picture on the wall or a plant or a certain chair, and always go back to that place to do the meditation. Nowhere else. I, I wouldn't recommend laying in bed. Uh, if you want to prop yourself up with pillows or sit on the floor or something, that, that's fine. But create you a place to do the meditation. And that's what's called conditioning. And as you do this, and you keep doing this, your mind becomes conditioned. So you don't even have to go through formalities later on. All you have to do is just make the conscious intent. I'm going to go meditate, and as soon as you go there, you're there in meditation. You, you just leave all the things of the world outside the door, outside the room, and, and that's where you go, and that's your peaceful and safe place.